So there, on some level, there is a trauma from the imbalance that needs to be addressed. When we're dealing with gaslighting, we need to recognize what drives the behavior. So if we go back to my police department example, what's driving the behavior is the police officer that I'm talking about really, his heart really is in the right place. He really is disgusted by the fact that somebody was asphyxiated by an unaware officer. Um, it, it bothers him that the way it makes him look and the way it makes all police officers look. So that's what the gaslighting is about for him. But it's his denial and his denial being created into gaslighting in that example. And so anytime that we look at gaslighting, recognize what is driving the behavior. What is it they want to control and why? React to their claims the right way. So we can react to gaslighting by being furious and pissed off. We can react to gaslighting by um, arguing, but the, the strongest reaction to gaslighting is to get in touch with our own values and our own principles and draw from them. And in the face of the gaslighting say, no, I don't agree with that. No, I do not buy the reality that you want me to believe it. I will not compromise my own values and principles to believe in the reality that you believe in. When we're dealing with gaslighting, don't second guess ourselves. If someone is gaslighting us and it feels like something's off in it, something's off in it. You know, uh, like a part of me really wants to go with this police officer and say, yeah, the NYPD is really trying, but on another level, people are freaking dying. On another level, uh, I can think of the times that I've been wronged by the police department, and I can think of the times when I've been wronged by the police department and then been released because I knew someone in the department or had some other advantage, that, some other advantage that other people don't have. And so I know that this is not completely, this is not a, a completely righteous claim. 